beautiful Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Julie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all please report them or ignore them it is a scam now I have felt that collectively the energy is pretty low at the moment so I was trying to think of other ways to raise the collective vibrations and really inspire people um, and the only thing I could really come up with that was short in a period of time because these readings are often quite long um, I've migrated to TikTok I learned how to use it I'm not very technically savvy so please bear with me but I've migrated to TikTok to upload uh, sort of one minute videos to inspire, but also to give a card a day, uh, you know, things that you can check in with if it, um sort of inspires you but also there's a QA and a uh, sort of facility on there as well that I'm excited about exploring so if you're on TikTok I've put the link in the comments box below please follow that one because there's other sort of people out there masquerading as me these scammers so just please be mindful uh, but also if you're not into TikTok of course then give it a wide berth again it is free it is there's no money no e-gifts no donations everything free with me okay so let's cleanse your space hourly I'm going to uh, give three loud sounds so let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, so this is your twin flame reading. If you feel like you are uh, in a twin flame union, then this is your reading. If you're not looking for a love reading, I have done a, a career reading there, so please check that out. Uh, but also, I'll be doing a singles reading in the next couple of days for those who are not looking to connect with anyone from the past. Um, this is Scorpio season, so this is a very transformative time, especially for twin flame unions. Anything that has been elusive, anybody who's been resisting or avoiding their feelings, Feelings. They take a cold, hard look at how they truly feel. They cannot escape uh, their feelings of love or um, feelings of um, low self-esteem. We cannot avoid it during Scorpio season. Uh, so this is about people plunging to the depths of their truth, owning it and trying to look inward um, and sort of connect to those things that they love. So Cancer, any of uh, Twin Flame unions, uh, the Twin Flame counterpart, the runner, tends to reconnect with the chaser because their feelings of love are overwhelming and they cannot avoid it. Now, of course, Scorpio season also brings, oh, we got three cards there. Uh, Scorpio season also brings uh, very carnal desires. Okay, so a lot of um, sort of passionate energy. So please be mindful if your twin flame does connect to you. We're going to see if they're going to connect in the next couple of weeks. If they do, uh, please be mindful that this time can be very lusty. So make sure they come to you in the right energy. I also do not condone anyone uh, going back to any abusive situations or anything that's narcissistic. But I'm also aware that human uh, beings were very complex creatures. We argue, we say things that we don't mean, we say things that we do mean to hurt each other, uh, to sort of... It's almost like the wounding comes out and we sort of project it onto others when we are um, spiritually unevolved, okay? So I'm aware that uh, things are not always black and white. Anyway, your protagonist energy are the keys, okay? So this is basically the key card number 33 and this is about destiny. You're, uh, you're basically researching a lot of answers within you. You're seeking your truth. And also, you may come up with a lot of uh, revelations in the next uh, couple of weeks about how you feel about your twin flame journey. You already know that you've given this person the key to your heart. Uh, this person is a twin, so um, you are going to be very, very alike, okay, in energy. That's what uh, twin flame energy uh, is. If you are not aware, please look it up online. I don't want you to waste your time in this reading. It often involves a runner and a chaser, and then the so the energy flips, and then the chaser becomes the runner, and then there's spiritual ascension, and you both come together. Should you take that journey? Not everyone takes the twin flame journey because it is a very painful uh, one. And as soon as I went to say painful, it's almost it took my breath away. So I feel like you've experienced quite a lot of 
suffocating kind of energy um, with regards to insecurity in this union, Cancer, because this person has knocked you off your center. Emotionally made you feel quite guarded is what I'm getting here. Um, also, uh, these keys, I feel like you just want answers in general from this person, the whys, the what ifs, and you know, uh, what are you going to do in the future? What, what, what is it? Because I feel like this person tends to come on in and message you occasionally and then sort of drift on out, okay, is what I'm getting with this uh, particular card. Um, you knew that this person was your twin flame. Uh, you knew that this was destined. This is a destined relationship to help you unlock some truths about yourself, uh, often uncomfortable truths. That's what happens in a twin flame union, and that's why there is a runner who cannot face uh, their uh, sort of uh, inner world. They don't want to go there. And when the love is so all-consuming, um, we have to love ourselves in order to match the kind of love that the other person is offering. And I feel like you had a lot of love to offer here, Cancer. You gave your wonderful, pure heart. You're so supportive, healing. Uh, you got a wonderful empathy about you. You just connected with this person on a very, very deep level instantly. I feel like you knew there was something other about this person. Um, you may have even felt at moments there was security in this person. It was a secure relationship. Um, but, you know, we got 19 energy for them, which is the tower energy uh, in the um, the Lenormand deck here by Lamucci Design. So I feel like this person's quite aloof, quite distant. They got a bit of a shield up there. Um, but you were willing to give this person the other key. You're willing to give this person your key and, you know, to your heart. I feel like you did. There's a piece of them with you. And there is a piece of you with them is what I feel. Um, and every time they come back, I feel like they take another piece, another piece. And I feel like you're getting stronger against this energy. Uh, but right now, I feel like you're seeking answers about destiny. What is the future? I mean, this card basically says, you know, um, you understand that uh, divine timing is in play, but it's about seeking those answers, trying to find the truth of your path. So I feel like right now in this period, you're like, what is my destiny? Is this person truly my destiny? Should I let go of this uh, twin flame union forever? Is this really a twin flame union? Is this a false flame? What is this? I feel like there's a lot of questions that go with that card. Okay, now your person, number 19, the tower. Now, of course, um, oh, I just wanna say, uh, they said the numbers, the numbers, and they're right. Number 33 is the key, of course, and if you reduce it, three plus three is six, which is a lover's card. So you're seeking love, you're seeking the highest, order of love, a deep love that strengthens a bond between two people who choose to take a journey of life together and weather it no matter what the storm is around in the external circumstances, okay? You're, you're willing to fight for a love that you feel is true for you, but anything else you withdraw. So I do feel like you have withdrawn in your energy and you are seeking answers right now. Um, and you may have even withdrawn to the point where you're quite defensive, you're protecting your heart, but we're going to go deeper on that and find out. Uh, so number 19 in the Major Arcanas is a star card, so that is about healing, okay? But we've got the tower here, which means this person, a little bit aloof, this person, uh, you know, is disconnected, is um, isolated. They're very private, this person, okay? I mean, you may not even trust some of the things that this person uh, sort of because I feel like you think that they've got a secret or something. It's almost like, uh, you know, what lies behind uh, the facade is what I get with you uh, thinking about this person. This person is very closed off. They don't let everybody in, okay? Now, that's no bad thing, but when it comes to love, um, you need to drop the shields. You need to become vulnerable with the other person so they can merge with you on a deeper level. And this person has difficulty doing that, okay? Now, there's something here about this person's time, frame. Um, it's not that they don't believe in divine timing, I feel like they do, but also I feel like they've got a very rigid sense of what they think will happen in their life. It's almost like they're like, okay, I grow up, I get my own place, I become very independent, I get a job, I succeed at my job, I get a lot of money, and when I'm ready, right at the end, I think about settling down. This person's not really thinking about merging um, truly with another person um, until later on in life is what I get. I mean, you've waited a long time for this, I feel, Cancer, so let's see how uh, how it's going at the moment. But um, this person is, there's an element, I feel like it was a bit of a, 
a push and pull about this energy of this person because I feel like they are healing some parts of themselves but they're still very aloof okay um, maybe that's what drew you to this person because you're very warm and you're very um, you know you can be aloof at times cancer you know whenever you if you cross a cancerian they can shut down have the pincers out straight away and take a side step and say come at me you know you, you you're very wonderful and loving to the people unless someone crosses you okay so you have the power to be that aloof person as well i think i feel uh, you'd rather not um create an argument or anything like that you'd rather just withdraw and protect okay whereas this person i feel is very aloof right from the get-go for a lot of people um i'm gonna pull a card on your person to see because um there is an element of privacy with this person that is not readily seen. So let me just see. Can you please clarify this tarot card for my beautiful Cancerians? Their person. What is this all about? We got the Nine of Wands, very guarded. Okay, very, very guarded. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior energy. You'll hear tarot readers talk about that quite a lot. Someone who's very defensive, someone who persists at life but has battled to get to where they are, but also they could have been wounded or hurt either in childhood or have some sort of trauma that has made them want to prove themselves and keep persisting no matter how many knocks come their way. But this is about boundaries. This person, you know, uh, they're very quick to sort of defend or be defensive um so yeah it's hard to get to know this person uh, it, it may be something that you already know that they have uh, deep within their psyche or something from when they were younger um that uh, there was some sort of pain that they process and it has made them very sort of like shut down there's a barrier nobody gets in okay so we've also got four of wands okay so the four of wands indicates a couple of things actually so i'm gonna to have to use another deck to uh clarify the energy that i'm picking up from this four of wands is uh, a card of like my halfway to marriage card it's like a union okay it's almost like nearly at a finish line for something so i feel like this person guards themselves against getting too close to that settling down energy in a relationship okay because that nine of wands says i'm protecting myself from getting closer to someone, getting uh, to know someone deeper, reaching that sort of halfway to marriage, or, you know, they could move in and things like that. They'll take a baby step towards that, but anything even deeper and deeper, they're very guarded against that. Either they don't trust it, either they've come from a, a, a an upbringing where uh, there was an absent uh, parent or guardian, or there was a, you know, a bitter divorce or something here that has made them very sort of shy away from connecting with uh, relationships in general not just love relationships but i feel friendships they always seem like they're on the outskirts looking in uh this person not that they don't have really good friendships but it's almost like they compartmentalize the friendships and it just feels like they're still at a distance that's what i'm getting from this person the four of wands also is a reunion card so i feel like this person uh does want to reach out to you but almost re restricts themselves um, tries to stop themselves from wanting to reunite with you because uh, I feel like this person is very conflicted they don't want to it's almost like they feel like they're not ready they don't really want to lead you on but at the same time they want to be in your arms and that may be the push and pull if they come in occasionally and talk to you and then sort of like disappear after a while I would be very mindful of that energy of course because that's quite immature energy and cancer you absolutely deserve the best relationship in life and in love okay so I really have to say that you know you know the dynamics of your relationship and if you want to be with this person of course I'm here to not blame anybody or not um, sort of uh, say you did this they did that they hurt you you hurt them I'm not here for that I'm here to try and understand the energy so I can transmute an outcome energy for the future for you and just be kind of like um, impartial uh, but the four wands there this person does want to reunite because the four wands can be a you know a reunion card um, a homecoming card um, so let us go forward and see uh, a little bit more uh, on that yeah on that four of wands I'm just going to quickly go to thank you so much my beautiful um cancerians what do they need to know about the four of wands not yeah they look at the nine of wands nine of pentacles there sorry did i just say the nine of wands uh i meant the nine of pentacles uh nine of pentacles there this person's very self-sufficient okay very independent and focusing on their career maybe or financial gain this person um yeah it's like that kind of lone wolf you know on the outskirts looking in uh they're quite comfortable in their own skin um just doing them and that's wonderful but there is this push and pull energy about them okay so the nine of pentacles 
It doesn't mean that they are in a solitary energy or anything like that. It doesn't have to mean that, but it can mean that they're sort of single and just kind of happy with that, okay? Um, but it does mean that they're self-sufficient. They don't need anybody is the way that they're thinking. But there's part of them that really wants to access deep down, uh, that level of vulnerability, but I feel like this person just doesn't know how to break through that right now. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm going to go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. How would you like to receive? Page of Swords. They are checking you out, though, this person. Very curious about you. Um, I feel like sometimes this is um, quite damaging to you, Cancer. I have to put it like that, because the Page of Swords is showing up in the reverse. So this person, uh, you know... Uh, you may feel like sometimes uh, they come in uh, when they've had some sort of bad news. They come for solace or they come to, uh, you know, uh, they come to talk to you because they feel like they're comfortable with you. They feel like you are home. That's the energy. But I'm going to go one more just to make sure. Uh, I mean, you're getting the four wands in the reverse. So the four wands is really, I mean, the readings for the Twin Flame Union uh, for the last couple of days, I've been literally taking one deck and clarifying another deck and the cards are exact. They're the same from two different decks. So that means, of course, a couple of things. One, we're heading towards Samhain where, uh, or Halloween, uh, some may call it, where the veil between worlds is thinner and therefore um, the energy is stronger. So it's like, literally like on point. And you got a four wands again here in the reverse. So uh, this could also mean that this person uh, has separated uh, or is leaving home or, you know, they're thinking about uh, how they left it with you or how they separate from you. Uh, you may feel like this person's bad news when they come on in, but this person is aware of their pattern. Okay, they are aware. And with the justice card there, this person does want to find a solution. Now, if you know that your person was in another relationship, like a karmic relationship, whether they were um, committed in some way to that person, I feel like it is ending. Okay, with that four of wands and the reverse and the justice, because that kind of talks about legalities legal separations. I mean, it could be that they, they have a business that they're legally separating from a partner, business partner or something like that. But this person is financially sort of um, focusing on their own needs. And uh, I, I do feel like they, with the justice card, this person will come towards you and talk. And they want to find a solution, but they're, it's almost like they're resisting it. They're, they're being stubborn. They're cutting off their own nose to spite their face. That's what I feel from this person. Now we all do it. I'm not here to point a finger at it. There's been many moments. Oh. Let's hope that's not an omen, Cancer. Wow, okay. Um, that is the first time ever in the history of me knocking that. Okay, I'm just going to go get that one more, please. I'm just going to cleanse your space one more time. And I just want to say we all do that, not pointing a finger at anybody. So maybe someone's angry. I don't know. Let's, um, let's see. I'm just going to cleanse your space one more time. I do apologize there for that. Um, I'm just going to pop that there so it doesn't fall off, but that is such a strange thing for me to have done. Anyway, um, let's move on. So yeah, I'm not pointing a finger at anybody. We've all done it. We all get in our own way. We all sometimes make a stubborn decision um, that really d deep down we don't want to do, but we do in order to remain in control of our feelings. Okay. So we've got number 21. This is the unified energy, which is, uh, the mountain of course. And this means that there are some challenges in this relationship. There are some obstacles that have to be overcome yet. So can you overcome it? Absolutely. We've got number 21. We've got number 10, the death guard. Well, it's, it's a scythe. Um, and it's kind of like, uh, you know, something uh, has to come to a hasty end, but also we've got number five which is a Hierophant card. So that is also about stability. It's also about, you know, um, the past and creating roots. So I do feel like the potential here is for you and this person to overcome some um, sort of challenges in this relationship. But I feel like um, there needs to be some hasty changes, quick changes in your relationship in order to, um, it's almost like nip any patterns from the past in the bud, okay, is what I get. Um, but number 21 in, 
you know, is the world card, which means a new cycle of change occurring in your relationship. This could be a completion. It could be a learning curve. It could be an attainment of desire, a celebratory kind of energy. This is about, you know, reaching the top, the summit of the mountain and celebrating the fact that you and this person can endure this relationship and uh, in some way um, persist persevere to overcome those obstacles and come back full circle towards each other. But we do have number 10. Now, number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune energy in the Major Arcanas. So there can be a turning point in this relationship. But the Scythe kind of does say there that um, there's conflict. Also, a quick ending on something, a hasty ending. Maybe you experienced a hasty ending in your relationship and that's what the, 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 the actual challenge is here, that it ended so abruptly that it left you like the carpet was pulled from underneath your feet. So that needs to be addressed because um, it takes a lifetime to build trust with somebody and only a second to break it. And if that has led to some major insecurity, like for example, Cancer, I feel one of your questions is, if they could leave this relationship, if this they could leave this uh, and leave this love or me behind, what can prevent them from doing it again? Could they do this to me again? So I feel like there is a question there of how can I trust going forward that you really want to be with this person no matter what, deep down. But I feel like you're sort of opening yourself up to sort of leaving it behind because you're not so sure if you could trust this person again or trust the dynamics that you wouldn't want to waste time okay is what i feel time is really relevant in your reading for some reason so maybe that's something you and your person talked about you've wasted my time or you're wasting time um so i'm just going to pull a card on number 10 and see what's going on there for you thank you so much spirit guys great angels how would you like to receive thank you so much uh yeah we have the hermit card there in the upright so solitary energy quite abruptly, okay? Um, seeking truth, enlightenment. So it can be that there is going to be an abrupt, it's almost like both of you identify the challenges in this relationship and you both sort of have an abrupt disconnect. No talking, no uh, messaging, no nothing, no communication for uh, a period of time. Now, the, her the, the Hermit card is a temporary timeout. So it's almost like both of you abruptly stopping communication um, and really thinking about what you want, really knowing your truth and reflecting on whether this relationship can work, can you overcome the obstacles and what it is that you uh, need, Cancer, in a relationship as well as what they need. You know, each of you separately understanding what that is and seeing if vibrationally uh, there has been spiritual ascension and that there is a match. Now you could be dealing with someone who's a Virgo because I feel very strong, I know this is a Virgo card, but I feel very strong energy um, with the Virgo card here. I'm gonna pull another card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, going angels. Whoa. We got the Two of Cups. How much like received? Thank you so much. We got the Magician and we got the Hierophant. So yeah, this relationship has the potential to be very committed, very loyal. I mean, we got three major cards, major commitment cards here. We have the first card was the Two of Cups. So soulmate energy. So this person, if there's been challenges here, I feel like that temporary break, that temporary separation that is between you allows this person to recognize their heart lies with you, that they know that you are the twin flame and that they love you. I mean, this is soul, this is soul connecting energy. This is a deep partnership of love, but also the two of cups is about proposal, high level commitment and taking it to the next level. And, you know, even though this person has fear um, and has uh, some sort of avoidance of connecting to you on that deeper level. I feel like they try to go there, but then they disconnect. Okay, that four of wands came up. We go straight to the magician, which is about manifestation um, of desire. That is about thoughts becoming things and turning those visions, those dreams, those daydreams into reality using inspired action. Okay, and it leads straight to the Hierophant which is the marriage card. So is there a deeper commitment available in this relationship? The answer is yes, but I'm not gonna lie to you, Cancer. It's not gonna be overnight. There are some challenges still ahead for you and this person to really work out. And quite quickly, actually, I feel like you may even turn a corner, but it comes after that period of separation and both of you learning a lesson. Because straight after that, we've got number five, the Hierophant card, again, you know, it's number five in the major arcanas. So you definitely have the potential to have a deeper level of commitment and connection with each other. And also the tree represents history. You both have a very deep 
history I mean it goes back many many lifetimes you've known this person before that's why you feel so comfortable but also so triggered by them um, and I feel you and this person uh, you will talk a lot about your past but it's also about planting roots for the future trying to overcome the difficulties or the baggage from the past in this union in all in order to have a healthier relationship one that will stand the all weathers and also grow exponentially okay so uh, positive energy for your twin flame union of course, all relationships take a lot of work, but your person is quite closed off and aloof right now. So let's go to the Celtic Cross and see the details. Now I'm using the Mystical Moments to Row by Ketchum Well Stein. I only read the uprights in this deck, uh, apart from the challenge position. Now before the cards come out, I just want to say I'm also running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading. I'll let you know how to win that right at the end of this reading, as some people are here for uh, the reading only and some people are here for both, okay? So we got the King of Pentacles. Let's see what's crossing that King of Pentacles. The Death Card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? We've got the Two of Wands. I'm just going to get all your cards out before I talk about um, the journey so far. Two twos. A lot of pause energy. There's actually quite a, a, a suspended energy about you already. And this person, thank you so much, Spirit Guys. You've waited a long time. we got Three of Cups. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Great Angels, can you please? Thank you so much. we got the Four of Cups. Interesting that I just shuffled. you got the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, Two Twos. There's a lot of we got the Seven of Swords. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. we got the Three of Swords. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. we got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So, interesting energy that's uh, occurring in your reading. Uh, the first one, King of Pentacles. This is the heart of the matter. Okay? Full investment in a relationship, in a future. Okay? Stability wanting to be there, making good decisions, making good choices, okay, investing in a relationship together that leads to, um, you know, settling down, long-term secure relationship, retiring, that sort of thing together, taking that journey of life together, that's the heart of the matter, okay, now you could be dealing with, as I said, a Virgo or someone's got Taurian placements as well, uh, you're looking for something solid and true, Cancer, um, and I feel like you thought it was this person at first, it's really interesting because the vision, they're showing me the vision in the mind. It's almost like, I do feel like whatever it is that's in your mind, Cancer, or whatever it is, it's almost like you dream of what you hope to happen in the future, which is perfect because thoughts become things, magician energy, but also remember to live in the present and see things for what they truly are without any rose tinted glasses. Okay, I just want you to be aware of that. I'm a water element, I'm Scorpio, so I have to say as well that, you know, sometimes uh, being the dreamer kind of energy, sometimes we go to the future and think of a wonderful future that we want with that person, and we start to romanticize what we want about a person, and we start to sort of forgive some red flags, let's put it that way. And since you're a water element, you're so deep in your emotions, so sensitive, I just want you to be very protective of yourself in that way, but also open yourself to that wonderful vulnerability. I'm going to pull a card to see what the King of Pentacles means for you, Cancer, and what it means for your person. It can mean very, very different things. I feel like you are trying to build a solid uh, future for yourself. Um, you know, focusing on your money. I feel like your person is also focusing on finances. Perhaps you're becoming a business owner or you're stepping into a leadership position that brings more money or you're just focusing on uh, trying to keep the home space, um, you know, uh, in a resourceful working manner that is something that you feel safe in. Okay, so let me just see what that King of Pentacles means for you. Uh, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel there's an element here of um, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse says you would like to repair um, this sort of relationship with this person deep down, but only if they meet you halfway, if they show full investment in a relationship with you. Uh, also, the Eight of Pentacles um, in reverse can mean that you focus on your ambition, you focus on your career because you feel in terms of passion or in terms of relationships right now nothing's going on you feel bored you may feel you cannot get out there i mean we're going through a major pandemic right now so page of uh, sort of wands in the reverse means you know you cannot venture forth and just get out there and you know boldly sort of walk up to someone new in a bar or whatever like that uh, so you may feel a little bit bored right now with um 
the way things are going passionately uh, for you. I mean, not to say that nobody's interested in you, Cancer. I just feel like those moments of you feeling a little bit fed up, okay, and trying to just focus on your money, focus on building a solid future for yourself. Um, that's what you're living in the present moment thinking about, okay? What is the King of Pentacles for your person? Six of Cups, really interesting. Two different viewpoints. Uh, your person thinks about you, Cancer, with the King of uh, Pentacles. I mean, the Six of Cups says they're thinking about the past. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about reuniting energy. They are thinking of, about the past with rose tinted glasses. So that's probably why I'm picking up that energy. Uh, I mean, you may have been dealing with another Cancerian as well. Uh, so the Six of Cups there in the reverse uh, means, you know, the good old days. This person is thinking about their old flames. They're thinking about you, Cancer, uh, for this particular reading because they're feeling like sometimes they can just come back to you whenever they feel like they need solace, security, or a place that feels like home. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles tends to be sort of a settling down homely energy and they feel like that's where they would rather be right now. They, they feel like, because this is a reuniting card as well, okay? Um, so I feel like where they're they are right now emotionally they are withdrawn but i do feel like they are thinking about the past naively um you know uh, thinking about the past that you know they can come back on in and find solace or security in your arms uh, because their world may not be going um 100 right at this moment in time so just be a little bit mindful of that energy but are they thinking about you the answer is yes if that is one of your questions now the challenge in this relationship is the death card okay resistance Stagnant energy, immobility, nothing happening. I feel like this person has moments of really being obsessed with you, Cancer, and then almost berating themselves and trying to cut themselves off from your energy as well. So I feel like there's with the death card in this position, it's almost like, should I stay? Should I go? Okay. And I feel like you're feeling that energy as well. The death card says um, sometimes an ending can bring a new beginning, but it doesn't mean an ending as in forever. It can mean a transition, like an ending of a, a pattern or an old habit that's keeping this relationship stuck. Someone resisting or avoiding their feelings, for example, that's hindering the progress of this relationship. Um, basically, the death card means change, transformation. It comes from within and it blossoms out. So your person is still in that tower energy where they are um, trying to shift through some uncomfortable energies, uh, whether it's a paradigm shift, epiphanies, you know, uh, gaining greater wisdom. Um, their world in some way, uh, they're closed off because it's changing, it's crumbling. They're old ideas, they're having a bit of an ego death. And I feel this person is starting to open up to transformation, but it's a slow process, okay? So the challenge in this relationship right now is you don't know whether you should stay or go, and they are, it's immobile, it's stagnant, nothing's happening here. It could also be, Cancer, that um, sometimes the, um, if you think about twin flames like a magnet, two magnets there, okay, and their polarities are so similar. When you've got two magnets that are similar, they kind of like waver about in each other's magnetic field, but they never connect, okay? They're, they're resistant. But as soon as you change the variables within the magnets and they become slightly different, they connect. Okay, they're magnetized towards each other. So it is about the same thing on a twin flame journey. We have to change aspects within ourselves to remove ourselves from any blockages and surrender to the union and spiritually evolve. Also, most twin flames actually have some sort of um, mission they feel that they have to help humanity or help people or uh, spiritually evolve. And to be cons all consumed by a twin flame union would prevent them from carrying out their mission. So sometimes fate steps in and blocks the union for a while, but then the runner becomes the chaser and the chaser becomes the runner. So you flip polar polarities and then, uh, you know, then you spiritually evolve. Um, so it could be that you are now avoidant of this relationship because you feel like you cannot trust it. What is below you? a lot of waiting. There's been a lot of suspended energy in this relationship, waiting for this person to spiritually evolve, um, you waiting for perhaps new love to come along, or because the two of wands is about making choice as well. So I feel like it's not that you're waiting for this person to show up at your door and say, hey, I'm in love with you. I want to be with you. Let's really make a go at this. 
I don't feel like you're not getting on with your life, Cancer, because I feel like you are. But I do feel like you're waiting for that level of stability and security in love that makes you feel like you could take on the world. Uh, because the moon, she's looking at the moon there, so she's feeling pretty uncertain. And a lot of fears come to the surface. Uh, so I do feel like there is a sadness that goes with this card. You've waited a long time. You've sacrificed a lot for this union. And I feel like you're trying to get a new perspective on the relationship in order to protect yourself, Cancer. Equally, I feel like your person is always waiting, waiting. They feel like they've got time on their side because they've got this inner time clock that they've almost told themselves that they can have a relationship that really means something settling down with you, with their twin flame, like way into the future when they're older, older. And if, you know, if you want to settle down, have a family, for example, or, you know, have children, then of course, um, you know, the biological clock will be ticking for at least one of you if you're in a uh, you know uh, an opposite sex relationship uh, so uh, I do feel like there could be time restraints there because I keep feeling a time thing okay um, they started to give me a song sorry I paused because they started to give me a song but then they stopped it so either you just put on the radio or you put on a song and you're like uh, maybe it went on by accident and then you stopped it it's almost like it started to play and then stopped. So if you're in your room right now listening to this reading and music went out off elsewhere, but then all of a sudden it stopped, then there's something in this message for you, okay? It's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, if the song comes back, then I guess it is for you, but it, it was just like a burst of music. I can't even tell you what song it was. So um, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone. We got the Two of Pentacles, Undecided Energy. This person may have been very indecisive. Uh, they disconnected from your union and you know there's neglect here with this uh, resistance. Uh, also the Two of Pentacles is about balancing plates, for example, spinning plates, multitasking. So uh, you or your person may have not found time for love or felt like there is a time for love and it was not in the present. Uh, I'm gonna pull a card on this to see. As you can see, she is balancing one leg on a building. Now buildings always kind of represent stability, security, and she feels, uh, you know, she's got, it's almost like risky behavior, okay? She's, it's not completely secure. So I'm just gonna pull a card on this and see what this means for you and your person uh, for that two of pentacles. You may have felt like this person um, was um, sort of juggling another person or juggling a career and did not choose your union um, first cancer so i'm just going to pull a card for you and see what the two of pentacles means for you thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please thank you so much we've got the eight of swords we got the empress okay so the eight of swords indicates uh you know perhaps there was something that you were not seeing or that uh you felt you did not see clearly uh this eight of swords can be um sort of fears of the mind that keep ourselves stuck from really acknowledging that actually uh we're beautiful both inside and out Okay, that Empress card right there says, uh, you, you know, that you're beautiful, you are abundant, you are, uh, you know, someone that um, this person would wanted to have settled down with, okay, but you may not have believed that about yourself, okay, because those two cards showing up, it's almost like you don't, you cannot see how beautiful or how amazing you are or what you bring to the table, okay. Now, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, it's about, you know, confidence it's about you know your self-assurance with the empress card and you and this person planted something a seed together you know a seed of energy um and that there was love starting to grow here but it looks like the eight of swords there there was some sort of insecurities or fear that got in the way that may have even prevented you from believing that actually you were the best option that this person had cancer okay that's what i'm feeling in this um also i feel there is moments of you starting to recognize now um that um, you can see clearly that you uh, bring a lot to the table. I feel like you're spiritually ascending and realizing that you are, um, you know, a really incredible catch, okay? You're beautiful, uh, you're, you're nurturing, you're caring, you're loving, you're someone um, who, you know, people will be lucky to settle down with someone like you, Cancer, because you bring so much to the table. Um, also, be mindful because you are so open and loving that sometimes people take advantage of that and you may not see that especially when there is love involved. They're giving me the sentence, when love walks in, common sense walks out, okay? Now they do that occasionally, they give me that sentence. Uh, they gave it to me like about a month ago and they're giving it to me again now, so just be mindful of that, okay? So that's what this card means for you. Um, and you may have, it's almost like you may not sometimes, Cancer, and you may not even want to ad admit it to yourself, but there's an energy coming off here that sometimes um, you didn't feel very confident in the union. Um, 
and maybe it was the person's actions that made you feel that way but in some they're indicating that the separation in this uh, relationship is not personal it is to do with their own inner turmoil and projection okay I just want to put it like that thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please clarify for my beautiful Cancerians how their person is feeling about that two of Pentacles this is a past position Queen of Cups we we'll go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. I mean, the Queen of Cups is you, Cancer. Six of Swords. Okay. So the Queen of Cups is a Cancerian energy. This person thinks about you. You and the love that you had to offer. How uh, sort of compassionate you are. How you feel secure. Um, how uh, they feel healed and cared for in your presence. That there is a lot of love here. Uh, sometimes when people give so much love, and the other person doesn't have it to offer or they feel somehow lesser, they shun that love because they think, I can't, I can't take it. I can't go there because I cannot give it back. So just be a little bit mindful of that uh, with this person's actions. But the Six of Swords in the reverse says this person cannot let you go. No matter what they, you know, either they were thinking about their career or you felt they were thinking about another person or uh, they just did not give full focus to your union and they get a, let a lot of variables get in the way um, of the progress of the union they still cannot get over you they cannot let you go okay the six of swords in the reverse basically says unable to move on okay and that queen of cups says cancerian energy so um this person cannot move forward uh they still there is still love here if you're wondering now we got a queen of wands in the potential position so cancer even though you're a water element and uh you know whatever element your person is this is an energy of being attractive okay physically attractive the queen of wands again not gender specific but it means there is potential to attract love there is the potential to attract new passion as well you can see the queen of um sort of pen, uh, queen of wands there she stands there peacocking she's got that peacock skirt peacocking herself showing herself off believing in herself having lots of confidence confidence is an aphrodisiac it is alluring there's a fine line between confidence and uh you know arrogance of course i don't feel like it's arrogance it's confidence confidence will see you attracting not just your twin flame back to you cancer but also to uh you know attracting others into your sphere if you're wanting to find new love so i feel like um shining your light being your wonderful self and you know there is a potential to attract each other back because i do feel like there's a lot of love and attraction here um i'm going to um move on to the three of cups because i feel uh, there's in the near future there is something to celebrate now a lot of people will go oh three of cups that means there is more than one in this one person in this union there's a third party um i'm not picking up that energy i'm going to pull a card on it though just to make sure um I feel the three of cups if you look up the meaning of the card it means you know celebration happiness people being really happy for you because what you wanted cancer ended up happening okay uh, so I'm just gonna pull a quick card on the three of cups what it means for you and what it means for your person thank you so much spirit guides ace of swords you're not talking to this person okay ace of swords uh, I do feel like uh, the energy is flipped as in uh, you uh, may have felt like you have poor judgment or you had poor judgment in trusting this person. You were meant to meet this person. You were meant to have this journey with this person, okay? Uh, nothing ever happens uh, by accident. Um, with this, I feel like it's a little bit, um, it's something sometimes that you can't think about right now because you feel, yeah, I feel like when this person comes to talk to you and we're going to see now because we got the Seven of Pentacles as the overall sort of, energy which means this relationship can be saved okay uh, ace of swords in reverse so you're not talking to this person or you don't believe this person you just don't believe them maybe you don't believe that this person doesn't have a, another person maybe you, you think that this person you don't trust them they think you think that they have a, somebody already okay so if you know that to be true of course then that will be your case but i'm not picking up on third party vibes but you think this person's dishonest or you cannot trust them okay what is the third uh, what does the three of cups uh, mean for a cancerian's person six of wands in the reverse now if they were with a person the six of wands in the reverse says uh they've they've separated from that uh but more than anything i feel like this person knows that you have a lack of confidence in the union or have a lack of confidence in them um 
not having somebody else. So if this was, uh, if there was a trust issue, a major trust issue in this relationship, um, Six of Wands in reverse kind of highlights the fact that just because they're, they don't put their whole life out there, it doesn't mean that they've got something to hide is what I'm feeling from this. I'm going to ask a direct question. Um, is there a third party situation going on here? Is there a third party situation going on here? Ace of Cups, no. Ace, aces bring new love as in one or, or bring a, sort of an offer of love for one. It's not a third party, okay? There is love. It is almost like, well, they're basically saying the Three of Cups is to celebrate love between you and this person. This person will come and offer you love, okay? Um, what is this person going to do to offer love? What is this person going to do to offer love for Cancerians? Uh, the Death card, actually, right now, they're not doing anything. In the near future, they're not going to do anything, okay? So they're immobile. Um, so that is, this This is the near future near future position okay uh and this is the overall position okay so show me after uh this reading uh is good for the next three to four weeks so show me after the three to four weeks what how would you like to receive thank you so much what will they do uh we have six of cups so they will return six of cups as i said is a return energy they will uh they come towards you um to Try and reunite or try and be nostalgic about the, the, the past. This person, their message is going to be, they, when they message you, the message is actually going to be about the past, okay? It's not going to be like, hey, how are you doing? It's like, remember when we used to do this? It's just going to be kind of like that, okay? Um, and you're going to be like, number one, you're going to be a little bit annoyed, I feel, because you're like, do you even know what that is doing to me? Um, because they're transporting you back to a really fond, happy memory and forgetting to talk about the major elephant in the room, which is the pain or the sadness or the separation, the loss here, okay? So I do feel at first you're going to be a little bit cross. That's probably why your Ace of Swords showed up in the reverse, like, I'm not talking to you. I'm not going to even answer you with that, okay? So I feel like they're, they are going to come towards you. Um, so it'll probably be, you know, after about three to four weeks, they're going to send a message about remember the time when we, or remember when this happened. It's going to be like something about the past, okay? So just make a note of that. Um, now, what is the advice for self at the moment? Four cups. You're wondering if, because this is so unfulfilling, this relationship as it is in its form at the moment in the 3D, that you're wondering if you should open yourself up to a new option. I feel like you, uh, Cancerians, may be sort of praying to the universe using things like law of attraction um, or mentally calling in a soulmate, saying, you know, because I, you deserve love, absolutely, Cancer. You deserve the highest love of all, someone to love you fully to the amount of depth and love that you have to offer another person. Remember, we can only meet each other as we have as deeply as we have met ourselves we can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves now you've met yourself pretty deep especially since you're a water element you're willing to go to those depths but your person i mean they may be a water element too but uh, whatever element they are they're very aloof they're very cut off so uh it's it's going to take them a while to get to where you are at um whether you wait or not i do not condone anyone waiting get on with your own life your path is already sort of uh, set anyway um there's destined moments along your path but it's also fluid so there are moments that you get free will to uh, choose okay um now the four cups there it basically means you're feeling unfulfilled and right when you least expect it there will be uh, an emotional kind of um how can i put that um uh, An emotional emotionally deeper connection coming out of nowhere um, and as you can see with that four of cups um, spirit is protecting you at this time there's an umbrella there they're protecting you from the storm this was meant to happen so you and this person were meant to be separated for a length of time okay um, now the external environment I have to say cancer is the seven of swords so this is a runner's energy also, there are trust issues in this relationship that need to be looked at, okay? Because Seven of Swords is a dishonesty or a betrayal, a betrayal of trust or keeping things close to the chest, uh, secrets that maybe not even big secrets. Maybe someone's so private, they're like, I, I don't let you into that part, you know? And sometimes a secret is um, 
Well, secrets are not good, of course, but sometimes people want to be private and say, you know what, this part of me is off limits. And it's okay for me to have that part of me that's off limits. It's not detriment detrimental to our relationship, but that part of me, I keep it for myself. Okay, so, I mean, we got to honor that in each other. Um, but the Seven of Swords is runner's energy. So the external environment right now, especially since your person is in the tower energy, next three to four weeks, they're still in that runner's energy or you are transmuting that energy too and flipping the energy and you're the one disconnecting. So I'm just going to see how you feel about the Seven of Swords and how um, your person feels about it. Now the Seven of Swords, it can also mean independence, not a people pleaser, not doing what a person may expect of you. So um, we got Ten of Pentacles. And we got the world. Okay, so with the Ten of Pentacles and the rever and the world, this tells me that you still feel like there is unfulfilled potential in this relationship, and that you don't really want to run, but you are seeking highest investment in a relationship. You want this person to either commit uh, to a relationship that leads to you both walking into retirement together, old age together, leaving a legacy together. Um, it could also mean that you know what, until such time that happens, you're going to focus on your your career, building your money. Um, but with the world in reverse, you feel like, um, you may even feel like your person hasn't learned the lesson yet, that they're still in that runner's energy. Or if you're flipping it, Cancer, because they're showing me a mirror right now flipping. When they do that, they, they're showing me, it could be either or energy. It doesn't happen often in a reading, but they do it sometimes um, to show me that it could be either or. So maybe you feel like, even though there's unfinished business, in this relationship, uh, you feel like they have not learned a lesson, so therefore you're keeping a wide berth from them until they come and show you true blue energy. So you become the runner, okay? That's when things start to really heat up. Now, what does the Seven of Swords mean for your person? What does the Seven of Swords mean for your person? Interesting. Aha! Yeah, so the energy is flipped. They're going to come to you. They're going to message you because now you've withdrawn your energy, okay? The Magician card in the reverse, basically when you look that up, it means unfulfilled potential, unfinished business, okay? Uh, scattered energy, wasted time. This person recognizes they wasted their time running, but they are coming to talk. They're having an epiphany here. Ace of Swords is about communication, Swords are about communication, but they're also about the, the, the mind, okay? Receiving clarity, seeing things clearly, having a bit of a breakthrough, an epiphany. And because they're in that tower energy, they're definitely having an epiphany. So I do feel like they're gonna come towards you and message you because they cannot move forward away from this union, but you're the one to reject the message. I feel it's because it's about something in the past and they're not addressing the present, okay? But anyway, uh, hope and a fear. We got the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords is a very painful energy. So you fear that um, this person has the power to hurt you again or the power to, maybe even the fear is losing this connection forever. But already it's not fulfilling your needs. So I feel like you've decided, perhaps Cancer, that maybe you've withdrawn from this. And that is, I feel like that is until such time as uh, this person shows they want to recover the union or they want to apologize if they have something to apologize for. Um, the Three of Swords can be a hope. Uh, in this position, it can be a hope uh, for healing the, the wounds that have been created, that both of you can blossom despite it and really acknowledge that um, something good can grow um, by learning um, and coming together. Uh, we also have the Seven of Pentacles as your overarching sort of end energy. Seven of Pentacles is, can we save this? Okay, you are doing your part of the bargain. You're making your uh, sort of half of the union. Uh, I don't believe we're actually half a person uh, that we're seeking our other half. I always feel like we are completely whole by ourselves and we merge with another a counterpart, okay? Because if we think that we are half looking for our other half, we're always searching for something. Okay, and it gives away our power. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles does say, looking at the investment that you put into a relationship, what do you get out of it? And if you feel like you're the person who does all the legwork in a union, Cancer, then it's time to withdraw and let the other person show you what you mean to them. Give them space to come to you. Okay, Seven of Pentacles also means with patience, hard work, and delayed sort of um, expectation, shall we say, this can be a successful relationship because right now it is starting to blossom, it is starting to become healthy. It is something that can potentially grow roots. So I feel like 
um, you and this person can save this. I mean, it's not a it's it's not an accident that your last two cards, last card of the first spread, last card of the the last spread, are trees. Okay, planting roots, finding stability and growth in your union. So, can you um, save this relationship? Absolutely, but it has to be cultivated. It has to um, you know when you think about cultivating a tree. They're showing me right now a bonsai tree. Wow. So either you've got a bonsai tree and you're actually doing this as you're listening to this reading. They're showing me someone pruning it. Okay. If you think about a tree, in order for it to grow and grow and grow, sometimes you've got to cut something off it. Okay. You've got a size right there. Sometimes you've got to cut it. You cut parts of it, take off the dead leaves, everything like that. Water it, nurture it, give it space to do its own thing and watch it grow. So I feel that is something that you and this person still have some obstacles to overcome. But you can sort of, with that separation period, you can, as it were, you know, cultivate it, your own world and then come back to union. Now I'm going to get you a final card before I close. Um, for those of you who are interested in uh, trying to win a free personal reading, free to enter, free to win, free to receive. All you have to do is visualize something that you would really like to achieve and then say these words after it. I am a magnet for abundance. Okay, say it out loud. I am a magnet for abundance. Visualize whatever it is that you want, like you have it now in the moment, like you're living that life, okay? And it shall be so. You can put it in the comments box below. Just put those words, I am a magnet for abundance, in the comments box below. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 21st of November, and I'll upload it in a video online, okay? And we've got gift, number 24. So when uh, you reduce it, 2 plus 4 is 6, the number of the lover's card, of course. Um, this thing, this relationship will balance itself out. It says gift, giving and receiving, affection, offer, tangible. So this will be a relationship that comes to... The earthly plane in a physical form it will be something that tangibly you can have that you can see that you can have you can hold okay also i feel like it's about finding the balance within your relationship um that you're not always the giver cancer because you're such a wonderful loving person um make sure it is reciprocal that they meet you halfway but and remember also that you're a gift but i do feel like um i feel like it's interesting I know it seems like a, a long way off, but what they're showing me is uh, by December, this person um, either gives you a gift or has a gift that has never been given. Now, this came up in a reading uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I'm not sure maybe it was for your sign, Cancer, but it's a, a gift here that has not been given, has already been purchased, a gift that has not been given. So either you have a gift for your person that you never gave to them, but I feel more that it is they have a gift for you that they've never given you. They've never even talked about it. So I feel like uh, between now and December, they will have at least talked about it, maybe even given it to you. The first communication, though, you get from them is about something in the past, okay? So uh, that's what they're giving me with that card. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Let me go. Can you please, guys? Okay. Uh, we have, oh, wow. <laughs> so first of all, we have angels are watching over me. Okay, so your guides are definitely uh, helping you with this relationship. You are not alone, my beautiful Cancerians, and it's all about divine timing. Uh, they actually want me to put it on the Three of Cups celebration. So they're bringing you to a more positive time. We've also got the Fleur de Lis. Interesting, the Fleur de Lis connects to the Emperor card. Someone who thinks about the future, who plans and wants to settle down. Someone you could trust. So there's definitely maturing happening in this union. Uh, so where would you like this? Where would you like this? Oh, they want it on the King of Pentacles, okay? So they're highlighting that there can be, uh, you know, there can be uh, an energy of passion as well as stability, is, uh, as well, uh, is what they're saying. Passion and stability can live side by side in maturity. I don't know why that's come out, but it's uh, what they're giving me. Uh, also, they gave me the word um, just now, Andorra, Andorra. Is it Andorra or Pandora? Andorra. I think it's Andorra, not Pandora. Andorra. So, I mean, that could be a place. I feel like that has come up before in a reading also. Maybe even like last year. Like way, way, way last year. 
Andorra. Anyway, uh, it could be a name, it could be a place. Uh, please take it as it resonates. I'm going to look it up to see if it actually means anything and how it may rele be relevant to your reading. And finally, we got the engagement ring. So there will be a deeper level of commitment in this relationship. Uh, you and this person can unite and uh, sort of um, unify, become a harmonious uh, relationship and choose each other. Uh, but there has to be, of course, a level of maturity in the union. Where would you like this? Wow, they won on the Three of Cups as well, celebration. So perhaps... Um, well, not perhaps, but I mean, in the near future, there will be something to celebrate um, that may connect you to this person in some way as well. I'll leave it like that. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.